Today we're going to talk about the new Mac OS Sierra, which is the latest operating system coming from Apple. I'm using a MacBook Pro 2016. I just picked this up a few weeks back and I absolutely love it. This is the non-touch bar version. I'm getting my touch bar version here in a couple weeks. So today I'm going to talk about two main features that I'm really excited about, excited about that came with Mac OS Sierra. The first one is the automatic syncing with iCloud. If you are already part of Apple's ecosystem, and you have multiple Apple devices like an iPhone and an iPad, you're familiar with already using iCloud. Now they've had this on Mac operating systems already. But the cool thing is, is that now it syncs automatically to iCloud. So your pictures, your, um, your files, anything you save to your desktop, this is now gonna sync to the web on iCloud, which is great in my opinion for backup. So you wanna make sure this is set up and to make sure that you have it configured properly, just go to the Apple at the top left corner and then click system preferences. Select iCloud. And then here's where you'll type in your Apple ID. This is your main Apple ID. You can find out what this is by accessing it on your phone or another Apple device and see what you're using there. But you wanna make sure you're using the correct and the same Apple ID across all your devices. So again, it creates this Apple bubble for you and it's amazing because it's gonna be syncing all your files automatically into the cloud and across all your devices. So that's the first feature I'm excited about. The second feature is Siri. Now, if you're like me and you, you already have an iPhone and other Apple devices, you probably have already discovered Apple's personal assistant built within these devices called Siri. And they've taken it another level here. They've added it directly into the um, operating system. And I'm, I'm a huge tech nerd. I'm, I'm a big fan of the movie called Her. And if you watch the movie, the operating system kind of comes to life and sort of interacts with you. And we're not quite there yet, but Siri sure makes it feel that way. And with Siri on your MacBook, you no longer have to leave or pick up your phone to create reminders, calendar events, or, or do anything else that Siri offers on those devices. And I'm gonna show you a quick demo of the cool things you can do with Siri. In order to use Siri, there's two things you can do. You can either use the shortcut by holding Command and Spacebar on your keyboard, or you can simply click Siri here in the dock. I'm gonna use the command and spacebar shortcut and I'm gonna ask Siri what the weather is like in London. What's the weather like in London? Here's the forecast for London, England for today. So really cool, I mean, this is literally information at your fingertips. I didn't have to bring up Safari or an internet browser to search this information. I didn't have to pick up my phone to, to, ch to check the weather app there. All I had to do was use the quick Siri shortcut on my MacBook, ask Siri a question, and it immediately came up with the information I was looking for. Now let's have Siri do a reminder for us. Remind me to throw out the trash in 25 minutes. Okay, I'll remind you. This is great because, you know, my wife, comes in and says, hey, honey, don't forget to throw out the trash, and I'll automatically forget it because it's not something I want to do when I come home. But cool feature, reminders, I use them all the time. I'm not forgetful, but it certainly helps me just keep track of what I need to get done. And the last feature, or the last cool thing I'm going to show you using Siri on your Mac is going to be, um, let's have it search the web for pictures of airplanes. Search the web for pictures of airplanes. Here are some images of airplanes I found on the web. Now, this is really cool. I, I like the fact that I can use Siri as a personal assistant, interact with my computer more, asking my computer to do things for me simply by saying, using Siri to search the web for pictures that I'm looking for. And I can select that image and it'll probably just you know, uh, I can save it to my desktop or I can go directly to that website. So there you have it. Couple quick features built within the new operating system offered from Apple. It's Mac OS Sierra. If you're not an Apple fan or if you don't have an Apple product yet, I, I suggest, look, pick one up, check it out, go down to the Apple store. 
I'm not necessarily an Apple fanboy. I have Windows computers too, and I, and I absolutely love those as well. I'm also a fan of Cortana, which is Windows version of, of Siri. But in my opinion, if you're looking for a solid, stable computer, MacBook Pro 2016 is definitely one to, to buy or consider. Even the new MacBook, the 12-inch version, running Mac OS Sierra simply just for the software because their operating system is extremely user-friendly and obviously they're continually adding new features and new things built within it that are, if you use other Apple devices, you probably should have also an Apple computer. So I'm Eric with ITC. If you liked the video, please show your support. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. Also check us out on the web at itcaustin.com. Thanks for watching.